Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? This is another episode of Old School Dan Makes Bad Decisions. <laughs> I'm going to open the last collector's box I have of Assassin's Creed. I was only going to keep one seal for myself because we didn't get very many. Don't even really have too many boxes to sell to customers, and we didn't have nearly as much to open for singles as I was hoping. It is a smaller set, but I mean, we're still getting variants that we haven't even opened at all, so... There's a lot of variants of these cards that we're only going to have like one of or none of. And that's a big bummer. Uh, they really cut the print run on it. I shouldn't open this, but I'm going to because I really... We need more singles, and I really am hoping that I get super lucky and pull a serial number card out of here. I don't think we're going to, but... It's one of those situations, you know, total FOMO. It's like, oh, if there's a serial number card sitting in that box and I keep it sealed... It's going to be a huge bummer, you know. Sell it to somebody down the road, they pull a serial number, I'll be so mad. So, <laughs> anyways, I usually like to keep a, a, at least one box of everything sealed, but this is it. We're not going to, we're not going to keep a sealed one. We're just going to bust them all open. Hope I get super, super lucky because there's only 750 serial number cards in the whole set. I'm probably not going to get lucky like I did with Modern Horizons 3. That was just, that was just a stroke of amazing luck royal assassin temporal trespass oh ezio we're starting off with a couple of mythics and a black market connection right out of the gate not a bad pack treasure token all right pack one was good let's hope the rest of the box holds up they can't all be that good though let's think magic the gambling the house is the only one that wins all right rat man desynchronization oh we got a textured Nice. Gorgeous textured, so wasn't all that bad. At least we got something good out of it. Odds of getting a serial number and a texture in the same box? Probably impossible. But we did get another texture. That's only the third texture we've opened. Again, we didn't open as many of these boxes as we would like. Screwed. And a shapeshifter. But that's only the third one we've gotten. We've opened, what, eight collector's boxes, I think? Uh, which is probably four more than we should have. But, you know, we need singles for the store. The collector's boxes are really the best way to get those because everybody's going to want the fancy ones. Uh, what must be done is we must open packs for the customers. Animus, the Storm Hammer, and the Eevee Fry again, and Trader Token. All right. At least we'll have some nice textures to show off in the case Friday, if nothing else. Hopefully people enjoy them. I don't know. The textures don't really do that well. I haven't sold a single texture, I don't think, from the last couple of sets. Cassandra, that's one we don't get a lot, so that's nice. Conspiracy, Crystal Skull is always welcome. And the back in the as well. And a copy token. Copy token is the rarest token. Uh, I thought the uh, the other one there was going to be the rare one. The, uh, the shapeshifter. But it seems like the copy token is the one that's the hardest to get. Go for the throat. Let's see, we got the Nurturing Peatland, which is gorgeous. We've got the Roman Coliseum back there. That's awesome. The Eevee Fry again, the Sword of Eden, back again. And uh, Socrates, not serial numbered, unfortunately. I do love the Socrates card, though. And the Triad token. All right. It's going to be interesting to see if somebody can... Abuse that capital line triad with the turn all your creatures base toughness nine nine. That would be nuts. All right. Plains, Abilene, Jagdaw, of course. Oh, speaking of the capital line triad, that is a really, really cool. We haven't even seen that one. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the first time we've seen this variant in the whole, all the boxes we opened. The chicken looked a little naked. I can't tell. It looks. No, probably not. But anyway. Oh, Leonardo. Nice. That's well, Leonardo da Vinci. So we are getting some of the, the good... Uh, oh, flip the bird. Run away with our money. There's Watsy. They're taking off. They got our money, and they're taking off. All right. Um, <laughs> I just love the fact that there's Socrates and Leonardo and Cleopatra in the set. I'm a history buff. Four days. Love the histories. If you don't study history, you're doomed to repeat it. Uh, 
Abstergo, the Hermes, Desmond Miles, who's wearing a modern shirt. Makes no sense. Sword of Eden and a treasure token. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'm really tired. The fact that I haven't fallen asleep in the middle of one of these openings tonight is amazing. Edward Kenway for next mythic. Black Market Connections. Leonardo da Vinci in the full art. Nice. I do love the looks of that card and his foil. So two da Vinci's. Sword Light and Shadow too. Nice. That was a really good pack. Awesome. And the Triad. So this has been a really good box. Bummer that we're probably not going to get a serial number out of this set. I was really hoping for one. But it is a really good box. At least it's a good box to end with. Warlock Grove. Okay, so we got two of the lands this time. Sean and Rebecca, Stormhammer, Assassin's Trophy, Cover of Darkness, and a Traitor. Three more packs. What do you think? Is there any chance? I think no chance. We got two Leonardos. We got an Ezio. We got a textured foil, which those cards are amazing looking. And we got the Sword of Light and Shadow. This has already been a pretty, pretty smash up home run box. So, and we got the Keen Eye Protector. And the Royal Assassin, the Hobby, and the Rest in Peace. Oh, those are mythics, right? Yep. No, okay. And once he's like, I got your money, flip him the bird, and take it off. All right. God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Synchronization. Well, don't open a game store. Whatever you do, never open a game store. It's a terrible idea. El War for the next mythic. We got a lot of mythics in this box. Staff of Hermes. Conspiracy, Basim, and a trader. One more pack. Thus ends our hopes and dreams of getting a serial number. Not going to happen. And it's a huge bummer. Oh, well. We tried. We gave it a valiant effort. If Watsi had gotten us more product, we would have kept opening until we got one. But we don't have enough product to keep opening. So here's our last few rares. Hopefully maybe a mythic in here. Before we call it, Sword of Eden, Sword of Eden, really, Basim, and not even Mythic, Kenway, and the Etched, and the Mysterious Creature. Okay, we did get the Kenway in the Textured, which is really cool, these cards, the the camera doesn't do them justice when you see them up close, there we go, There's there's a little better idea of how glossy and shiny these cards are. I don't know if you're into sports cards at all, but they totally look like those like really crazy Topps Chrome or, or Stadium Club cards that they made. Uh, they're really just so shiny and slick. It's pretty amazing, and they are textured. So we're going to put that guy right in the sleeve because he looks pretty cool. He's probably not going to be worth anything, but hey. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Mythics. So pretty good box Mythic-wise. Got the Sword of Light and Shadow. We got two Da Vinci's. No waiting. We got the Capilan Triad in the uh, the gorgeous uh, full art there. We haven't even seen before. Cassandra, she's hard to get. And the Ezio. And the Temporal Trespass in the excited art. So, not too shabby. The two Leonardos. Really, really cool looking cards. Um, Leonardo is a huge, huge... Like, I'm so interested in the history of all the stuff he did. I mean... He created the first medical journal, illegally. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, really crazy stuff that guy did. Um, just a genius. Thank you guys so much for your time. Don't forget to leave me a comment down there. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. And uh, don't forget to check out the description. Click some of those links. Uh, really helps out when you guys do that. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.